I love that that's like such a part of Christmas now, yeah. that movie. But anyways, 547 right now, Rob is joining us. Uh, he's, of course, keeping an eye on our Christmas forecast. But right now, we are dealing with some wet conditions out there. Yeah, what are we looking at later today and through the weekend, Rob? Yeah, so damp roads here heading out the door this morning. But that last batch of showers, that's lifting off to the northeast. For all of the rest of North Alabama, on the way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, we're drying out. Still some low clouds, still some wet roads, but not too bad here as we finish up the work week. Again, these showers are moving to the northeast, but still clipping quite a bit of western Lauderdale County as these move into Tennessee. But we're all done with the rain well before lunchtime today. There's a look as we look off to the east from our Panda Cam from Toyota Field. That, of course, is I-565 right around the Madison area. Wet roads, but traffic seems to be moving along smoothly. Still some low clouds. If you're traveling in some of the higher elevations, going over some hills, some mountains, eh, you're going to need to slow down because of the poor visibility. 62 degrees right now in Huntsville. Keep in mind that our average low for this time of the year is 35 degrees, so nearly 30 degrees above normal for this time of the year for the morning low. South winds out of the at about 6 miles per hour, helping to bring in that warmer air. Planning your day for today, still keeping about a 10% chance for rain in all the way through about 10 o'clock this morning. That's mostly for areas closer to the shoals. For everyone else, we're drying out and we will see some breaks in the cloud cover, so some peaks of sunshine will be possible through your Friday afternoon. How about the winds? We've had some pretty gusty winds in place over the last couple of days, still finding some winds of around 15 to 20 miles per hour for your Friday afternoon. Then heading into your Saturday, we're going to have some showers and storms moving in by the morning hours tomorrow, still tracking some pretty easy gusty conditions. And that's the cold front right there. You'll notice around 6 o'clock on Saturday evening, you can see that sharp line in the winds, and that'll be racing through North Alabama, keeping those breezy, gusty conditions in place into your Sunday. That allows for that much cooler air behind tomorrow's cold front. So here's a look at future radar. This is 730 here this morning, so less than two hours from now. That's all the rain that we've been seeing here in the overnight hours. It's off to our north, so we're dumped the rain for the rest of today. Again, still seeing some breaks in the cloud cover through this morning and into this afternoon. So again, still a pretty nice Friday for North Alabama with those highs in the low 70s. Then we head through tonight and into the overnight hours. That's when the rain returns back to North Alabama. It's coming in from out of the south ahead of the main cold front. Some of this could be in the form of thunderstorms, though we're not expecting anything strong or severe, but you may wake up to some rumbles of thunder in the middle of the night tonight. By tomorrow morning, most of that rain east of I-65, but you can see our cold front racing in from out of the northwest. This is tomorrow afternoon around 3 o'clock, and that starts to kick a lot of that rain off to the east, but still some lingering showers all the way into the early morning hours on Sunday. But we're back to sunshine heading into your Sunday afternoon. Look at the rainfall totals. This is actually pretty impressive for just about a 24 hour period. We can pick up another inch to an inch and a half, maybe two inches of rainfall just through the day tomorrow. And that's on top of what we've already seen here in the last 24 hours. So your seven day forecast 71 for today again, well above average for this time of the year, still below record highs for today's date 68. That's still about 15 degrees above average. And then we see those temperatures drop off behind tomorrow's cold front. We're down to 37 by Sunday morning, 50 for a high on Sunday afternoon, but that should be the coolest day of the next seven. We start to warm things back up to where we should be for this time of the year. Mid 50s for your Monday afternoon with temperatures near freezing for your Monday morning. Back to you. Thank you.